Hi, this is Lightroom Guy, D.A. Wagner, and I want to show you how I copy photos from Apple Photos, or iPhoto, into my Adobe Lightroom Classic catalog. To begin with, I want to make sure I add a folder to my top-level folder. That is called iPhoto or Apple Photos, however you would like to name it. I'll just call this iPhoto. Okay. And I'm going to make sure I'm not including any selected photos. And it's going to go into the top level folder where all where I keep all my subfolders in Adobe Lightroom Classic. Like that. And here it is. There's the empty folder. OK, so I have an empty folder. And now I have to make sure that I'm not working in Lightroom in a full screen mode. And here I want to take it out of my full screen mode. So I'm working in a window and not full screen. And at this point, I'm going to take my window and I'm going to reduce the width of it because I want to be able to have the window overlap with my Apple Photos window. And here's my Apple Photos window. To begin with, I'm going to reduce the size of this window. So I'm now overlapping my preview area in my Adobe Lightroom library. And with that, I'm going to drag one of my photos from the Apple Photos over my library preview window like this. And drop it. This is going to open up my Adobe Lightroom Classic import window. And you'll see that none of these photos are selected, but there is one and it's going to be in here. In fact, there it is. I just found it, but don't bother looking for it. It will be selected. So all you need to do from this point is make sure you're importing to the folder you wanted to import to. And in this case, what we want to do is not import by date, but into one folder like that. And now we're going to select our iPhoto folder. And with that, we can go ahead and choose import because we're going to only import the one photo that has been selected from all these at this point here, it says 74 photos. I'm going to choose import and it will bring that in image and it will bring that image into my Adobe Lightroom Classic catalog. Now, if it has GPS data, I will get a window like this and I will choose enable because I'd like to know where the photograph was taken when I use the map module in Lightroom. And that is it. The photo is now here in the photo window and I can go ahead and proceed to develop it. I can open my window up again. I can enlarge the size of my thumbnails. And I could go to the develop module and begin to do my developing as I like. And that's how I import from Apple Photos into the Adobe Lightroom Classic catalog. And I can do that with one picture or I can select a group of pictures. It will always import only the images I've selected and those will be checked in your import dialog. I think you'll find this simple method of dragging and dropping from Apple Photos into Adobe Lightroom Classic very useful. This is Lightroom Guy. Thanks for watching.